Hey America, I've been banned from Facebook for a joke I made a while back. It was offensive to Muslims, but I, I really don't give a crap. How about when they offend us? They've been doing it for a long time, ever since Democrats put them in there. Since Obama. You look at that too, people. We got a real problem with censorship in this country. Whether it's a joke or not, it doesn't matter. They treat our justice system like it's a joke. So guess what? They're a joke. I don't like the internet because they censor us. And me, I fought for my country. I was working for my country. I'm not just some regular guy off the street. I'm not going to say I'm a war veteran. I didn't get wounded. I didn't do that. You know, nah. I just served my country. I did what I had to do. That's it. I'm not asking for anything else. But the problem is Facebook wants to censor everybody in this country. That's real veterans that got wounded. Okay. People that lost family during Iraq or Afghanistan or after 9-11, all that stuff from back then. Or Desert Storm prior to that. Okay. I had a chance to go to Desert Storm and... My 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 uh, government my my unit didn't call me so okay fine cool I'm good with that but I'm not one of those people that just takes it lying down. We have principles, we have rules in our own country, and yet these liberals own Facebook. I call it fuckbook because they're they're evil. They don't care about us. They only care about their agenda which is brainwashing and making us all look like mediocre. Sorry, our Constitution is anything but mediocre. It is the grand station of freedom for us, this country, and everything we believe in. And these liberals want to take that away from you. Your guns, your freedom of speech. Hey, it's all principles. Principles that were built up by our forefathers. And they called them terrorists. Even on Alex Jones Infowars.com, they called, you know, people like George Washington and, and all these others after called them terrorists. That's bullshit. We all had to fight for this country. So how are we terrorists? We fought for a belief, a belief system that we can have a free land, free to do whatever we want as long as we don't bother anybody else. But the problem lies there as you have you have the New World Order, you have the, the military industrial complex, which taken have taken over for many years. We've had shoot more wars than we can count or keep track of. In my lifetime, probably thirty wars that I'll never know about. From nineteen eighty eight when I got out of active duty to when I retired in two thousand eight from my reserve military. Doesn't matter. The point is, the military-industrial complex and the Pentagon, a.k.a. the Pentagon, are evil. And they follow whatever the globalists tell them to do. Highest bidder. Got the money. got Got the donuts. Got the money. That's what's been going on for a long time. Alex Jones talked about that. A lot of people know what's going on, but... The problem is you got society, people that are brainwashed by liberal freaking professors at colleges and people that just didn't go to college and they don't have a clue. They, they're, they're shut out. They didn't even have a chance to have a brain to begin with or let alone equate anything for what it's worth. I served my country. I did half my life in the military. I'm almost 54 years old. But my point is... <sighs> We have a long way to go, people, to make this country great again. And Trump's doing his part. He's been doing it. 16, 18 hour days, 20 hour days. I mean, the guy's a work, a work, a work, a holic, but not a drinker, not a smoker. You know, he don't do drugs. He probably don't even have coffee. My point is, Trump's a good man. If he had coffee, so what? You know? At least, it's, at least it's legal. <laughs> My point is, uh, we need to take our country in seriousness. We need to take it in patriotism. We need to take it for all those who fell before us. 
My grandfather served World War II. My other grandfather, Army Air Corps before it became Air Force, jet mechanic. But my family, for what it be, we, we did our part. I got cousins I haven't seen in 35 years. I think I'm going to go see them. I feel bad for not going and seeing them. But I've been economically shut down because I'm not rich. I'm not a globalist. All I know is we have to fight for what's right. We have to do what's right. We have to go from there and make it happen. I don't like YouTube. I don't like their programs. I don't like their algorithms. I don't like any of it. They're evil. And I hope a day comes when Trump will make this all free for us on doing this right here, just speaking our words, because we've, we've paid more than our fair price for freedom of speech and, you know, a right to carry a gun, concealed carry, it don't matter, a right to carry a gun, period. We're dealing with a lot of evil people that want to take this country and turn it upside down and make it a third world country or worse and, and that's got to stop we have to stand up and uh, we have to fight for what we believe in that's it you know I don't know other any other way to put it that way but that's it I love my country my grandparents knew what was going on and I followed in their footsteps a little bit Anyway, I love America and I love my country. And the one thing I learned was I, was I was texting somebody earlier today about the Pledge of Allegiance. It doesn't say I pledge allegiance to the flag uh, under Democrats. It says under the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now... What Trump is doing is bringing that back. So that's my observation. Democrats don't give a rat's ass about this country. They just want to let immigrants come from Mexico, bring in the drugs, bring in the human trafficking. They don't care about America. They really don't. They haven't cared for America for 60 freaking years before I was born. It's time to do away with the Democratic Party. And I saw a text where somebody says, why don't we just do away with both parties and call it the Patriotic Party or the Patriot Party? I'm all for that. I'll do it. I'd be one of those people showing up to sign in legislation to do away with both parties. If they don't want to do their job, let somebody come in and do it for almost nothing. A small pension, a small little, you know, here and there, be better than these idiots being millionaires. These Democrats... They're not millionaires. They get, they're getting money from the drug cartels. They're getting drug money, blood money. Us, our blood, our suffering, our fucking everything. Pelosi should be behind bars. Hillary should be behind bars. Obama, Obama, Hillary, all those cronies should be shot. Just later. Just later. Be shot for treason, period. I'm busy, babe. That's what I'm saying, people. Listen up.